Hey friends, today's video is actually about a company that I actually knew mostly for cable production. If I needed a display port or any other sort of other random cable that I might go, I went to this website and it was Monoprice. And they actually reached out to me recently and asked me if I wanted to check out something that they're just recently launching, which is their dark matter gaming line of not only peripherals, but also gaming monitors. So I not only agreed to check it out, but they uh, sealed the deal by sending me some gummy worms. So I'm excited about that. Let's go ahead and see what Monoprice has to offer on hand here with the dark matter stuff. We've got a keyboard, a headset, a mouse, a mouse pad, and then as I mentioned, the gaming monitor right here. This is a 3440 by 1440 ultra wide, 144 Hertz free sync quantum dot VA panel. I'm very excited to check it out and see what Monoprice has on offer when it comes to gaming apparatus. We'll leave the gaming monitor until last, but let's go ahead and check out the Aether keyboard and mouse that they sent over. The Aether keyboard actually goes for $70 right now on their website, but that's because it's an optical mechanical gaming keyboard, not just a normal one with regular Cherry MX switches. Packaging is sleek and minimal, kind of what you would expect from a brand called Dark Matter. So they're kind of on point there. This keyboard, just not much to write home about, which is such a good thing. You see the Opto Mechanical Linear Key Switch right there. We're gonna test that out, see what that feels like. But so far, very impressed. Build quality feels really good. And just the aesthetics, maybe besides uh, the red rubber stoppers on the bottom, that kind of slightly puts me off, but considering the fact that you're not gonna see that anyways, I actually really like the black aesthetic that they've got going on here. And just as a quick side note, they, they've got a Allen head right there for some odd reason. And I, Love it. It gives it like an industrial vibe, which is just, I don't know, that just rubs me the right way. So everything here is gonna be RGB, which is great. I probably should have started with the mouse pad just to put everything else down on. But here is the Aether mouse. Looks like it could go up to 16,000 DPI. Has a very smooth finish right here with some rubber texture on all the areas that you need to grip. Not much to it besides some actual buttons and Looks like we've got a weight adjustment right here. And there's all the weights for you. Since there's a PWM 3389, and as it says, it is RGB. But again, everything's just on the same aesthetic of the dark matter. Let's go ahead and get this mouse pad unfurled and unraveled to set up here. So this mouse mat is 900 millimeters by 420. So nearly a meter long and nearly half a meter deep. Smooth finish, no frills, no muss, no fuss. Honestly, just kind of fits into the aesthetic. And just at the bottom right corner, you can see in the right lighting, there's the Dark Matter logo. Non-slip, smells like rubber. Now, let's get on to the Supernova gaming headset. Let's unbox this. As you can see, it will have RGB on the outside. Has an aluminum yoke, as it says, enveloping dynamic sound, plush durable headbands, premium braided cable, inline USB controller, supreme ergonomics, detachable mic for music, that's awesome. I'm a big fan of detachable mics. This is not wireless, obviously. This is a wired cable, but it looks and feels and sounds kind of durable. I like the, the larger ratio of this headset. We've got the inline controls on the headset, which dangle down to like mid chest, which is, I don't know if that's a good thing. It, it adds a lot of weight on this side, which I'm not necessarily a fan of, but let's, and it has a clip. Where am I supposed to clip this to? Like my, my collar, is that the idea? I, I like, is this how pro gamers do it? Am I elite now? Pro gamer moves, okay? So as I mentioned, this is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. We've got 1500 R curve, which in case you're not familiar, the 1500 R denotes the fact that if you stack them in a circle, the radius of said circle would be 1.5 meters. So it's not a super aggressive curve, but it's definitely going to be a noticeable one. Toy with you box. All the cables you need. Looks like we got a display port and some micro USB adapter. That's odd. I'll check that out in a second. We've got the wide stand. Wow, this is Ben Swallow levels of wide. Kind of looks like a, is this a broken TIE fighter, I guess. Is this just a Star Wars 
reference episode. I have to say, with Monoprice, all of the things that I'm looking at, the branding just seems to be 100% on point with the aesthetic that they've got going on. Think dark matter, then yeah, like everything just popping off, everything being matte black. This is definitely the way to do that. Check the finish on this bad boy. That matte black looks so good. Let's talk about what's underneath before I set this up. Clearly see we got two display port, two HDMI, as well as a headphone. And then there's that micro USB, which I'm just not sure what it's for. Is there RGB on this? Is that an RGB controller setup? So it looks like this micro USB thing that slots into the back of the monitor might be some sort of like projection. I'm not sure exactly what that's for. We'll find out, I suppose. 1440p ultra wide at 144 hertz, four millisecond response time, 3000 to one contrast ratio, as well as 400 nits peak brightness, which means this puppy is capable of HDR 400. Supports picture in picture in picture by picture, as well as face to mounting. That, that's a wide stand. I like it. It's not, it's not gonna work on this mouse mat though. That's, you're gonna need a deep desk. Obviously I do have a TV on here already, but this is, this is a wide boy to get this guy flat. So we got tilt, swivel, no rotate obviously, but that's kind of enough. No height adjust, which eh, I guess you can do without. More range of motion is usually better in my book, but it's not, it's not such a big deal that I would be upset. There is a cable routing hole down here in case you need that. All of the buttons are down below. It's got a blue light right there. Oh, that's exactly what it is. There's a dark matter red projection light right here. You can see it. Look at how fancy that light is, friends. So fancy. Projection. You project it on your hand if you want to. So the RGB, refined, very subdued, not much to it. Honestly, kind of gives me Logitech vibes. This thing is also fairly lightweight, which is impressive. The Aether mouse feels pretty good in the hands. I mean, claw style grip, it makes as much sense as you would expect it to. Viewing angles actually seem pretty good. This camera's slightly off to the side, as is this one, and it's doing a pretty good job. Obviously, it's a VA panel, so viewing angles are definitely gonna be better than TN. But we'll check out, let's see if there's any sort of ghosting or any issues of the sort, heading over to Blur Busters. There is definitely some ghosting that's happening here. It's not horrendous, it's not the worst that I've ever seen, but it's definitely actually present going, especially on that top line right there. Obviously, this isn't gonna track very well with the camera, but I can, I can see that it's there. Blur Trail is kind of minimal. It exists, but it's not, it's not bad. Okay, before we launch into a game, let's check out some music with these head with this headset this is the supernova headset it has like a, a fake hollowness that's going on that's hard to describe it uh it's set on game mode let me change the eq to music no it's still present it's not giving a, a sound stage to the music at all it feels like everything's pressed up right against my ears and not kind of creating an actual scene for the music. It's not lacking clarity, it's just lacking separation. It feels smushed. I think the real question is, how does the RGB lighting look? From what I can see, it's looking pretty fire. Before we also get into a game, why don't we go ahead and check out what the included microphone sounds like. Got a rubber gasket right here to allow you to cover it up when it's not in use. Okay, so oddly enough, as I'm recording, it's recording very heavy to the left channel. It's not splitting it up uh, as a proper stereo, which is odd. I can't find anything to fix it, and it doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the way it's mounted here because there's only one way that the microphone goes into the headset. So it's, uh, it's very left side bias, which is strange. It sounds remarkably clear, but I wonder if there might just be something wrong with my window settings that's causing this, especially since what I would presume is the mute button for the microphone down here on the dongle does effectively nothing. And as you can hear, I'm clicking it, and you can hear that coming through the mic, but it's not doing anything of sorts when it comes to ceasing the mouth words that are coming from me. So I really like the sound of this. This sounds really clear. I'm just wondering if there's a setting that I'm missing or something that I screwed up in the drivers that is causing this to be all funky and left-sided. A quick typing test on the optomechanical switches. They're not meant to be typing. They're meant to give you the fastest response in video games. Let's see how fast I can type with these puppies. They do feel 
a little mushy. Like they bottom out in a way that I don't prefer when I'm actually typing, but it's acceptable for what we're trying to do here. Ah, dang it. Ah, I had 90 words. I screwed it up. Now I'm at 85. Okay, that that was fine. The typing was good. It's, it's clicky clacky, which you would expect. Now let's get into some video games. Experience the 1440p ultra wide and all its gloriousness. I can test out the mouse, the keyboard, all of that, and try to get as good as we possibly can get. Ah! Ah, I suck at this game. We won the game! Okay, well, after experiencing it for a little bit, the monitor, honestly, phenomenal. I love the aesthetic of it. Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the projection light, but thankfully, that's just a micro USB that you can pull out. It looks great honestly the the minimal ghosting issues it performs like a champ that 144 hertz at 1440p super smooth it is at a 500 dollars price point which isn't horrendous for what you're getting here it's a decent quality va panel with that hdr 400 again at that 144 hertz refresh rate so 500 dollars the stand obviously i would like a more a height adjust the tilt and the swivel give you enough that you can kind of adjust it and then just hopefully you would orient it on your desk properly but it does have vase mounting in case you want anything else as far as the rest of the peripherals i would have to say that the headset right here is probably the biggest disappointment of the bunch it has this weird inline mic cable which is too short and kind of dangles had some weird glitching audio with the microphone which i haven't had before but i'm not necessarily going to rule out that it couldn't just be my system that's causing the left side issues it looks great but also it doesn't sound great it was fine for playing video games but it's not great for any like it, it's just not a really good headset it's 60 dollars, which makes me hesitant to even talk about it when it's in the price range of something like corsair's hs 60s which sound better than this so i don't necessarily know if i would recommend the supernovas if you had them they would work fine there's nothing to say that it would be terrible if you had these but at the same time it's the weakest part of this bundle the optomechanical keyboard of the ether just it looks good, it feels good, it played well, I enjoyed it, I can type phenomenally well on it. The RGB isn't overstated, and as well as the Aether mouse does what you need it to do. It's honestly, I can't, I'm not a good mouse reviewer, but after checking out this bundle as a whole, I enjoy most of what Monoprice has come out here with. The $500 monitor, obviously the big selling point here. The mouse, I believe is going for around $33 right now, and it definitely fits into that price bracket. The $70 keyboard, again, also in that price bracket makes a lot of sense. The headset, not so much. The mouse pad, $18. It's just a giant mouse mat that's just matte black. So that's that's great. Overall, very excited with what Monoprice has given us here. Big thanks to them for sending this over. I do have some plans for all of these peripherals coming up shortly. I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna go through at this point because it hasn't happened yet but it's going to be part of my text giving plans so stay tuned for that get subscribed if you want to check out more tech related content that we have here at ufd tech and i'll see you in the next video cheers